Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever basics we have uh, reviewed about decimal numbers like addition, subtraction, comparison, let us quickly have a look at some of the questions. Question number one, which is greater 2.03 or 2.30? So let us try to compare. So 2.03 and 2.30. So we compare from left to right. So 2 and 2 is same. After the decimal number at the tenths place we have 0. At the tenths place we have 3. So 3 is greater than 0. Therefore this number is bigger. Let's look at the next one 0 0.8 and 0 0.88. Now 0 0.8. And 0 0.88, what does it basically means? It means 0 0.80. So in this case, you see this is same, this is same. Only at the hundredths place, there is a difference. Here you have 8, here you have 0. Now 8 is greater than 0, therefore this is a bigger number. Question number 2. Express as rupees using decimals. So you have 77 rupees 77 paise. So because in order to do this, you first need to know the relationship between rupee and paise. Now 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise. Right? Now since 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise, we have to convert this entire thing into rupees. So anyways, this part is 77 rupees, we know. So we are concerned about this part. So how do we convert 77 paise into rupee? So from this we see that 100 paise is 1 rupee. Therefore, how much would be 1 paise? So 1 paise would be 1 by 100 rupee. Therefore, how much would be 77 paise? So, if 1 paise is 1 by 100 rupees, so 77 paise would be 1 by 100 into 77 rupee. So, that is, this would be 77 by 100. Which is equal to 0 0.77 rupees. Therefore, when you actually convert this, this becomes 77 rupees plus 0 0.77 rupees. So, when you add these two, this becomes 77.77 rupees. Similarly, if you are asked to convert 235 paise, so how do you convert this? Again, 100 paise means corresponds to 1 rupee. So, therefore, 235 paise will correspond to 235 divided by 100 rupee. So, when you actually divide this, you get rupees 2.35. Question number 3. Express in kg. 4 kg 8 grams. Again, what is the relation between kilogram and gram? So, 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams. So now with this relation, we see that when 1000 grams represent 1 kg, then 8 grams would be how much? 8 grams would be 8 by 1000 kgs. So therefore, this entire thing can be written as 4 kg plus 8 grams, which is 8 by 1000 kgs. So now this can be written as 4 plus 0 0.008 kgs which is 4.008 kgs. Question number 4. Write the following decimal numbers in expanded form. So the first one is 200.03. So how will we write it in the expanded form? For that we first need to know the position of each digit. So this is the ones place, this is the tens place, this is the hundreds place, this is the tenths place and this is the hundredths place. So how do we write it? We will write 2 into 100 plus 0 into 10 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 by 10 plus 0 plus 3 into 1 by 100. 
Now anything multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, this term will be equal to 0. This term will be equal to 0. This term will also be equal to 0. So we will be left with 2 into 100 plus 3 by 100. Now let us look at this one 2.034. So here this is the ones place, this is the one tenths place, this is one hundredths place and this is one thousandths place. Therefore this can be written as 2 into 1 plus 0 into 1 by 10 plus 3 into 1 by 100 plus 4 into 1 by 1000. So this can be this term will be equal to 0 because 0 multiplied by anything is 0. So this would be 2 into 1 plus 3 into 100, 1 by 100 plus 4 into 1 by 1000. So this would be the expansion of 2.034. Question number 5. Write the place value of 2 in the following decimal numbers. 2.56. So where is 2 located? 2 is located at the 1's place. So the place value of 2 is 1. Here where is 2 located? It is located at the 10's place because this is the 1's place, this is 10's place. So the place value of 2 is 10. In this case the 2 is located after the decimal. So this is the 10's place. So therefore the place value is 1 by 10. So this is called the 10's place. And this is called the tens place. Question number 6. Shyama bought 5 kg 300 grams apples and 3 kg 250 grams mangoes. Sarala bought 4 kg 800 gram oranges and 4 kg 150 grams bananas. Who bought more fruits? So let us first see what did Shyama bring. So we see that Shyama bought 5 kg 300 grams apples plus 3 kgs 250 grams mangoes. So let us try to convert everything into one unit. Let's convert this into kg. How will we convert 5 kg plus 300 grams into kgs will be 300 divided by 1000. So this much kg of apples plus 3 kg plus 250 grams can be converted into kg by as 250 divided by 1000. So now this would be equal to 0 0.3 plus 3 plus 0 0.25. So this will be equal to 5 plus 3 which is 8 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.25. So how do we add something like this 8.0, 0 0.3, 0 0.25. So you add these three you get 8.55. So therefore Shama bought 8.55 kg of fruits. Now what about Sarla? So now let's see what did Sarla buy. So Sarla bought 4 kg 800 grams oranges plus 4 kg 150 grams bananas. So let us convert this also into kg. So this would be 800 by 1000. Similarly in this case also this would be 150 divided by 1000. So this will be equal to 4 plus 0 0.8 plus 4 plus 0 0.15. So this will be equal to 8.95 kgs. Now if you compare 8.55 and 8.95, which is bigger? So 8.95 is greater, so 8.95 is greater than 8.55, that means Sarla bought more fruits. Question number 7. How much less is 28 kilometers than 42.6 kilometers? So how do we know how much less is this than the other by finding out their difference. So 42.6 is bigger so write 42.6 just below write 28. So 28 is nothing but 28.0. So when you subtract you get 6. Now here it is 2 it is 8. So 2 is smaller so we will borrow 1 from this side. So it becomes 12. So therefore this would be 4. Then again 
since you have borrowed one from here so now you have three so four minus three would be one so 14.6 kilometer is the difference Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.